Welcome back to another episode of Handbook to Success, specifically the next installment of the Financial Fridays series. Today we're talking about specifically where we started on our financial journey of gaining knowledge and then hopefully by sharing our stories you get ideas for yourself of where you'd maybe like to start. So I'm going to pick it up here today and then let John tell his story. So basically my whole, I guess you can call it financial journey, really started hardcore about a year ago. Um, I've been in the entrepreneur thing since about eighth grade, been interested, been trying to do and build businesses, but really getting focused on finance, that was about a year ago. And really the first real financial book I read um, was Rich Dad Poor Dad, uh, Robert T. Kiyosaki. And that book really just had some really good insights and was kind of like, kind of got you thinking about, you know, some other things are out there and I realized that the common mindset of a lot of people isn't necessarily correct uh, when it comes to finance. So that kind of got me into it. I started there and I'm like, okay, well, this is interesting. You know, where else can I go from here? Um, then I was turned on to the uh, site by John here of investopedia.com. That will be oh, yeah. linked down below. That's basically one of the best sites. I know it was influential in his uh, journey as well. Basically, you look up any term and it just gives you information about that term. And so that really helps when it just comes to learning the basics. Oh, yeah. So there were a number of other financial books down the line that really helped. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill was a absolutely influential book when it came to me and my whole financial journey. It didn't really teach you a whole lot about specific like lingo and finance, but it was very important uh, when it came to like how to think. And that's kind of what I've appreciated so far when it comes to reading books about finance is how to think about it and how to get in the right mindset. Whereas things like Investopedia are great for, you know, getting the actual like lingo and yeah. the terms and understanding things. Another great thing that I did, I specifically did this when it came to economics is, um, you know, you go to any bookstore, they have their the AP section of books, and obviously they're for high school courses, you know, advanced placement. Um, but if you go there and you buy, like, the AP Finance or the AP, you know, economics textbooks and just read through it, they're great because it gives you the information that college students are learning. Um, but it's just, it's very simple. You know, the stories are cut out, and it's just, you know, here's the information, and here's an example of how to do it. So if that's your thing, that's something I did, something I'm still doing right now, and it's just yeah. a great process and a great way to learn information quickly and in a small compact format so you can check that out as well i'm gonna pass it over to john now and he can kind of talk to you about his beginnings. yeah well i started uh finance i mean that i started my eighth grade year um that was a little bit before my entrepreneur journey started around my freshman year of high school um but i mainly started with investopedia that was the first site i ever went to when it came to finance because all i knew was stocks and bonds and that kind of stuff and that went through my stepdad who used to invest and I was interested, and so yeah, Investopedia, first site that came up when I typed up stocks. Spent about a year on that website alone. I learned basically all the basics when it came to investing in finance. I'm just going to let you know, if you don't want to read books, that website's perfect. It is literally the best website for finance I have ever found, and it is extremely helpful. Videos, examples, everything. So I guess the next step in that journey was the books, and mainly that's all I do now are the books. First book I ever read was The Elements of Investing. That will be linked down below. It was a very short book, but it got straight to the point. You know, coming from Investopedia to that book, it was a great transition into finance. Um, and after that, I mean, I read a couple more. And then the latest, most influential investment book or finance book I've ever read was A Random Walk Down Wall Street. That will be linked down below. It was a lengthy book, but I will tell you what. It was a classic, and it really, really helped me with my journey so far. So, you know, with John and I's journeys, you know, because here we are now, you know, we're doing this, uh, helping you guys out, you help us out, and, you know, we're reading, and we're doing the internet, and, you know, and yeah, we're trying to make connections, you know, get to know people. And so, honestly, what you can come with our journey like this, you know, what you can take from it, I would say, is it's never too early to start, Yeah. number one, and number two, there's a million different ways you can start. You know, I mean, look at John's example and then mine. You know, we started different ways, but yet very similar. You know, so maybe you guys could take that out of this as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the most important thing when it comes to learning about finance, learning about money and how it works is basically understanding it's a long process. There's so much mm -hmm. that you have to learn and so much that goes into money. Um, basically, just find something that interests you. That's the best way to start, you yeah. know, be it economics, finance, stocks, Commodities, real estate, you know, there's a whole bunch of things out there that could really grab your attention in a lot of different formats. There's videos explaining it, books explaining it, blogs, you know, everything out there, websites, yeah. everything that out there for you to uh, understand how this works in any medium that you want to receive it. So find something that interests you, find a medium that, you know, you think is great, 
Everything we talked about will be linked down below. Um, oh, one more link. Mr. Money Mustache. Look him up. I was told about him when I, on my plane ride back home. Great, great website. The guy knows what he's talking about. Absolutely. See, this, so there you go. You know, we have a couple websites down there for you to check out, a couple books for you to check out. And there's plenty of other you know, videos on the internet for you guys to check out. Investopedia pretty much has a video for every topic. Yeah. So you can do it in that way just to start. So there's a whole bunch of ways to learn about finance, a whole bunch of path to take. Hopefully you can take some inspiration from ours or use that to help create your own. Comment down below, you know, what are some things you want to learn about finance? You know, if you yeah. started your journey, how did you start? What got you into finance? Um, and so with that, keep learning and we'll catch you next time.